everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a Jack Mackerel dinner. This recipe right here, so easy. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Jeannie Young style is going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my Jack Mackerel dinner before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Alongside of our Jack Mackerel, we're gonna have some sweet corn. So I have some frozen corn here. This is the golden white corn. You're gonna need some sugar. We'll be using the sugar for our corn. You're gonna need some butter. The butter that I have here is a salted sweet cream butter. And you're gonna need a couple of veggies so we can make these mackerel patties amazing. We have a beautiful green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and you're gonna need some eggs to bind that patty together. And also we have a sweet Vidalia onion, and of course our star, the Jack mackerel. When you open it up, make sure you drain out the juice. And also alongside of our Jack mackerel, we're gonna have some some grits absolutely and then right here I have a baked potato I'm going to tell you something interesting that we're going to do with the baked potato you will need some breadcrumbs any kind of breadcrumbs you have around the house will do the trick you're going to need some milk for your grits and you're also going to need some water and a couple of spices so we can spice everything up here's what you'll need over this way you will need some pepper some Old Bay seasoning garlic and onion powder a little bit of chicken bouillon and some salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. I am so excited for this recipe. I don't know when's the last time I had Jack mackerel patties. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever heard of them or if you've ever tried them or how do you like to make yours. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna start on this corn. There's nothing like fresh corn. Absolutely, I'm gonna show you how we make it here at the Young's house. We make it delicious. And yes, we do put sugar in it. Now, if you're that person that says, no, Gina, I I'm not gonna put sugar in mine. Well, you don't have to. And it's that simple, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to take some butters, all right? And we're gonna put about three tablespoons of butter right in with this frozen corn, just like so. We're not gonna use any water, it's not needed. Okay, because this corn is frozen, so it will release some liquid. You can't have corn without salt. You wanna salt the corn, just like so. Beautiful, and we need some black pepper. Just like this, we're gonna turn this on low and we're just gonna let it simmer, okay? And then we're gonna put some sugar, all right? That's it, that's all you need. When that sweet pairs up with that salt, listen here, you have the best fresh corn ever. When I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. And we have Prince and Polo here. You see Polo right there on the left and Prince right here on the right. Say hi guys. <laughs> so we have our corn cooking. The next thing I wanna do is let's start on our other side, which is those creamy grits. When I make grits here at the Young's house, I always like to use milk. Some people like to use just water, and that's amazing. They can still be delicious. Now, and there are some people that like to use like a chicken broth or something. That's great flavor. But for me, it's, it's half water and half milk. It's really gonna give you a nice creamy grit. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's get some milk in, and I never measure. I'm gonna be honest. I don't measure my milk and my water. Okay, I just eyeball it because I've been making it for so many years. So get you some milk in there just like so. You've seen it was just about, you know, that full eight ounce. If that's eight ounces, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some water in. Just like so. And I want to bring this up to a slight boil, okay? Just a really low boil but I do wanna put some salt in, not too much, don't get crazy with it, but you do wanna flavor your grits, okay? And then we also wanna use some black pepper 
and then just let it be until it comes to a soft boil. Once that happens, I'll show you what to do when I come back. So while we wait on our milk and our water to come up to a slight boil, let's take this time to start to cut some of our veggies. I cannot make salmon patties or mackerel patties without those veggies. Those veggies are going to give you an amazing flavor and make them nice and beautiful in the inside. So we're going to cut some of the green bell pepper. Any color bell pepper you have will do the trick. It can be, you know, it doesn't matter if it's yellow, orange, red, okay? And you don't need a whole lot. I'm making two cans, okay, so this will be around about all that I'm gonna need as far as when it comes to the veggies, okay? I'm gonna chop it kinda small, and then we're gonna saute it in a little bit of vegetable oil. Don't make the pieces too big, all right? Just like so. We're gonna do the same thing with the onion and I'll cut the onion off camera because I know the onion is gonna make me cry. I don't wanna cry on camera. <laughs> so now that we have all our veggies nice and cut, let's go ahead and get it into a pan. You can use a little bit of butter. I'm using a little bit of vegetable oil. Okay, so we have our red and green bell pepper. We have some nice onion. If you're gonna put garlic in it, I don't suggest using the fresh garlic, honestly. I would use garlic powder because the fresh garlic can overwhelm this mackerel patty and we don't wanna overwhelm it with flavor of garlic, okay? And that fresh garlic is very, very strong. Okay, so now that we have that in the pan, I have also peeled my baked potato. This is a potato that I made yesterday, so it's kind of hard, but it'll do the trick. It's really interesting what I'm gonna do with this potato today. But first we need to address this. Let's scoot this over our grits so our water and our milk and our salt and pepper has came up to a slight boil what we were looking for and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start stirring in some grits okay if for if for any reason your grits get too thick pour some more water in and it's that simple but keep an eye on it every once in a while go in and give it a nice stir make sure it's not sticking and and that's it and I like to buy the one that says quick you know the instant all right quick five minutes grits, and it's really true. But the thing about that, when they say five minutes, it's true, it does cook in five minutes, but I like to cook mine's a little bit longer because I want mine's nice and soft and really fluffy. So what you can see, you can see me pouring my grits in and just stirring, 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 until I can feel the consistency, I feel like I have enough. If for some reason I feel like I don't have enough, hey, we'll pull some more in. So before we continue with our salmon, let's take a look over at the grits and I wanna show you how quickly the grits have started to thicken up. Look at that, beautiful, I'm very happy. And now let's talk about this really quickly. Why can't you put the veggies into the Jack Mackerel patties raw? Well, here's the thing, you can't, all right? But if you do, they won't be fully cooked, okay? And it's that simple. When you saute them, you get a really great flavor from sauteing them. And then also, they're gonna be cooked when you uh, cook your Jack Mackerel patty because the patty cooks very quickly. And in that time, if you put the, uh, the raw veggies in that patty, by the time your Jack Mackerel patty is done, the veggies will be raw on the inside. So I like to pre-cook them, and pre-cooking them gives them more flavor, and they'll be cooked. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Inside, just like salmon, Inside, this is when you pull it out of the can, you're gonna find the um, bones, okay? And these are called pin bones. And then there's some other bones there on the side. Some people eat the bones. They are soft and it's okay. Let's put them over here, all right? It's okay to eat them. A lot of people, a lot of you say, Gina, I don't throw it away, I eat it. That's okay. You know, they're, they, they're not a bone that can hurt you. So we're gonna go through very carefully, pull any pin bones out just like so, and when I come back, I'll show you what to do next. If you wanted to take some of the skin off, absolutely you can. Okay, everyone, I want you all to see the consistency of these gorgeous grits. Look at that, not too thin, and yet they're not too thick. Beautiful. That's what we're wanting, and from here, 
just let them simmer, okay? And now at some point in time, we are gonna put a nice amount of butter in there. And if you wanted to put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of cheese in there, now's your time. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I've taken the veggies, and sometimes I'll let the veggies cool down. But since I didn't let the veggies cool down, what we'll do is we'll wait a little bit for those veggies to cool down before we put our eggs in because we don't want scrambled eggs. Okay, so let's season with some salt. I'm gonna be very light with the salt because I am gonna use some of the chicken powder. This chicken powder is gonna give such an amazing flavor to these Jack Mackerel patties. That right there, that's all you need. And you definitely need that Old Bay seasoning. It makes any meat and seafood taste amazing, pretty much. And then garlic powder, oh yeah. Onion powder, don't you dare be afraid to season. I know, I know you're out there. You're afraid to season and then you wonder, why doesn't my food have flavor? It's because you need it more seasoning. Okay, so then let's come in with this potato that I baked off yesterday. We're gonna take some of this potato, and I know I'm using my fingers, all right? And we're just gonna put half of this potato into the Jack Mackerel mixture. This is something, let's talk about it because it's, I get really excited when I talk about this. So my grandma Lucille, when she made salmon patties, she would always put a potato in her salmon patties and they were the best. I feel like when she put potatoes in the salmon patties, it was to kind of stretch it because she had a huge family. But not only does it stretch the meal and make it go further, but it gives great flavor and it makes them taste better. So, and I've actually used a little bit more than half of the potato. Let me show you how much I've used. I just love the potato in a salmon patty or a jack mackerel patty. It really sends it over the top. I'm gonna to give this a nice mix, and then I'm gonna fill with my hands and see how much those veggies have cooled down. If they've cooled down enough, then we'll put our breadcrumbs and eggs in so we can bind everything up and make a nice patty. So now that we have all our seasonings into our jack mackerel and the veggies have cooled down, let's go ahead and put some eggs in, okay? Now, all depending on how much you decide that you're gonna make, that's gonna depend on how much egg you're gonna use. You know, if you're using one can, you don't wanna use two eggs, okay? You don't have to. And the egg is pretty much, like I said earlier, it, 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 it's to bind it. And so is the potato and the breadcrumbs. We are not gonna put so many breadcrumbs in here to where it's overwhelming. You don't wanna do that, okay? So I'm gonna show you something that's gonna help you to determine if it's bound up enough or if we're able to bind it up enough to where we can make a patty that will not come apart. I'm gonna show you how once I get everything nice and mixed up, just like so. So now that we have our breadcrumbs in, here's what I like to do to my jack mackerel and my salmon patties, just to see if it's enough to where it's gonna to stay together. Cause the last worry that you want to have is when you put it in a pan, is it gonna fall apart? Here's what I like to do. We'll take some, we'll kind of do a number like this. And if it stays together, if that stays together, you know it's gonna stay together in the pan. Okay, so now let's go in, make some patties up. And here's the thing, when it comes to making salmon cakes, um, you know, making Jack mackerel patties, you make them the size that you want. If you want little tiny ones, hey, that's what you make then. You want them to be huge, that's fine. And I know some of you are gonna ask, so, okay, okay, Gina, I have a great question. Can we put them in the oven? Absolutely you can. Now, keep in mind that this fish is already cooked. The veggies are already cooked. You don't have to cook them for long. So if you put them in the oven, preheat your oven to 375, you're gonna cook it until they're, uh, both sides are nice golden brown, and that's it. Don't overcook it because it can get dry. So here's what we have. Looks like a hamburger patty. All right, gorgeous. All right, let's make that one a little bigger because for this video, I'm gonna do three. There we go, we'll flatten it out just a little bit, just like so, if you see any holes, just seal it just like that. And I like to use a little bit of dusting of flour. You don't need a whole lot, don't get crazy with it, okay? 
just like that and then do like this so any excess can fall off and then shake a little bit on the sides just like so and you have a patty now over here in my pan you'll see that i have some vegetable oil but i want to wait until that oil gets nice and hot and it's not hot enough so i'm going to wait a second i'm going to patty some more patties up when i come back we'll get these bad boys in the pan so i've patted all of our jack mackerel up and here's what it looks like and I've dusted each one very lightly. Now, when it comes to the flour, guess what? You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this with the flour. It's just something I like to do. Little bit of oil in the pan, and if you don't hear and see that sizzle right there, don't put any more in. It means your pan's not hot enough. Okay, so we're gonna take them just like so. All right, give them a nice shake. Put them in nice and gently, and they will get brown, golden brown on both sides. Once that happens, we're gonna have some Jack Mackerel patties, grits and corn. If you never had grits and corn together, it's delicious. Let me show you how much butter I'm gonna put in. This is the butter, get it in right now. You want a little bit of cheese in there? Get you some in there, look at that. Oh, baby, we eating good tonight. Be back. Okay, everyone, so our patties have been cooking for around about seven minutes. Let's go ahead and give them a nice flip kind of make it fast, just like so. Okay, if you fiddle around with it too much, it'll fall apart on you, just like that, okay? No fuss, grab it, flip it, and that's it. And one thing you don't wanna do, don't use too much oil, okay? That's the last thing you want is an oily jack mackerel patty. Look at that, doesn't take long. The veggies are fully cooked. Let's take a peek in at these gorgeous grits and I tasted my corn and it tastes delicious. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> we better make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world, tell Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, we're going to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Jack Mackerel dinner, Gina Young style. Make you some. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make the decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name, we bind that evil devil away from us. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's dive in. I know you want to taste the grits. I know you want to taste the grits. You hear the dogs. You hear them under me. They are so excited that the video is over. Look at that. Taste some of that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And here comes that corn. That nice, sweet corn that we've balanced out with the salt. And then also, let's take a bite of that jack mackerel. Oh, Ooh, look how it has the crispiness on the outside. Oh, man. And then look at the inside. The veggies are fully cooked and it's packed with flavor. Take a bite. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Good night.